Hey, hop behind you, hop behind you. Welcome to week 111 of the Friday feature. Happy Mother's Day to all the ladies out there. We love you and appreciate what you do for us. Here's the deal, last Sunday, we got to go to the DC Central Kitchen in Washington, DC and volunteer to help prepare meals for a thousand people. But what's amazing, the people that we were working with, some of them had lived in the homeless shelter that was just above the kitchen. We got to do things and meet people that, that have had lives that I can't hardly imagine. But here's the deal, hot behind you means that we were bringing a hot tray behind somebody and you couldn't move. And they took time to teach us, but we took time to listen. And I want you to hear their stories today. Take a minute and I want you to meet Antonio. As I mentioned, we're here at DC Central Kitchen in Washington, DC. We got invited by CoBank and, and this is Rachel. She was kind enough to invite us here. What, Rachel, what are we doing? Why are, why are we doing this today? Well, CoBank's office in DC is only about two blocks away. And one of our staff members saw what was going on here and like, wow, you got a great thing happening. How can we help out? We serve rural America. Food comes from rural America. CoBank's been part of the board providing financial support and then getting good people like you here sean thanks we're just, made up of wonderful co-op members so. we're, just, we're just blessed to be here but what's interesting is that cobank's doing this antonio over here we got to meet him today what a story you have tell me a little bit about why you're here and what you're doing i got a second chance at life and dc Central kitchen uh allowed me to uh, have that opportunity and uh like i say uh i went through the cjt program the 14-week culinary training program and what you put in is what you're going to get out. I am a, a supervisor here at the main location at 425 uh, E Street, Northwest. And uh, it's awesome. I mean, I never had a job with the benefits that I have here. And like I said, it gave me a second chance at life. Now, now before you came here, you told me a story a while ago. What, what happened in your life that you said you wanted a career change? As a young child, I had made a mistake and I did 15 and a half years. Uh, 15 and a half years in prison and I came home and then there's not a lot of opportunities when you make that mistake but well, like I said this is in the kitchen it's we're giving you a second chance and I made the best out of it and I've been home 14 years straight that's awesome that's awesome that's awesome how many meals are we making today uh 1,000 uh 1100 1136 meals and we've got a team back there that's been cutting up fruit this morning making fruit bowls we've got a team here making up meals uh, that will go out to people who need them. But what's great about this facility, they're not just not making meals and giving it away, they're bringing people in to teach them. And we can all do that if we care about each other and we just keep pushing forward. But we gotta put, invest in other people so that we can help them live their life better. We'll see you next Friday.